at the end of the third episode of Loki Season 2, Miss Minute tells Ravana Renslayer that she knows a really big secret about Renslayer and that this could make her really angry. Well, let's talk about what this secret is because we know. The mystery behind Renslayer has been something that's been ongoing since Season 1. Of course, if you guys would like more of this, all of Season 1 is now available to the base tier for our members and the latest episode and audio commentary. We go in-depth on these theories and talking about this. But essentially, this episode ends on a giant cliffhanger that if you follow the comics and have been paying attention to all the dialogue and what's been said, you can connect the dots and see the details right there and know exactly what the big secret is. So at the end of the third episode, Renslayer and Miss Minute are at the end of time with the corpse of He Who Remains. And this is where Miss Minute says, I know the really big secret about you. And it's going to make you really angry. Well, this secret has been here the whole time, and even in the first episode of Loki Season 2. As in the first episode, there is dialogue between Renslayer and Loki we hear playing as an audio file. He who remains says, for us, for all time, Renslayer says, always. And then he who remains replies with, Ravana Renslayer, you are quite a marble. I will be proud to lead with you. You made a difference in this war. Thank you for being on my team. Now in the third episode, we find out Kang likes to work alone. But there might be a Kang that actually does, in fact, work with her and possibly falls in love with her. And this legitimately is straight from the comics. And since he uses the term for us, I'm reminded of their relationship in the comics. And the obvious big revelation here is going to be that they were in love, she did help him, but Kang slash He Who Remains could not handle sharing this power. And he was still in love with her, but he realized what he has to do. He mind wiped her and put her as sort of his underling in the TBA and convinced her, hey, you're my best agent, thank you for being here, thank you for doing all of this, not revealing to her that they were in fact married and a thing, a couple, an item, because again, he can't handle it. And of course, Kang can't handle this because he doesn't trust anybody. And that's literally the Kang thing. And if we go back to the comics, just look at this perfect illustration of it. Both ready to stab one another in the back because they're both opportunists. And honestly, it would not surprise me at all if we were to find out that maybe Renslayer is possibly another Kang variant that he decided to mind wipe since they've already played with variants being in love with one another, with Loki and Sylvie, this would be another way to get back to it. So honestly, I think it's all here. We know exactly what it is. They explained it. We're just waiting for the revelation. 